and welcome. Uh, in this video on Emacs, I'm going to look at Centaur tabs. Uh, who doesn't like tabs in their, their editor? Nobody raised their hands, of course. Uh, so let's get on with it. So Centaur tabs, um, an Emacs plugin aiming to become an aesthetic, modern looking, modern looking tabs plugin. Very nice. Um, customization is massive. There is so much that you can do with it. Um, it does, uh, I'm pretty sure it does pick up on um, Doom themes. It does work with Doom themes. So we should be okay because in our config, we've set up Doom themes. As you can see, so many different configuration op options. Um, you can group by buffer, you can group by, it works with projectiles, so it groups by projects. Um, yeah, just uh, integrations, projectile integration, there it is. Uh, it does have Helm integration as well. Um, and yeah, it's got mouse support. This is the, the guy that, or the person that, um, that, that changes the package, their personal configuration. It is intense. Ah, yeah, so here we go. Known supported theme plugins. Uh, so yeah, Doom themes. If you're using Space Max, that works. Uh, Atom one to look like Atom. So yeah, great stuff. Uh, as always, with everything, we are going to use use package. Yes. Uh, so let's um, general packages. Yeah, we'll put it in general packages. Uh, let's go to the end of this block and let's go. So Centaur tabs. Pretty cool name. Begin source emacs. I R max emacs list. End source. So use package centaur tabs. Guess what? We're going to ensure that it's installed. Surprise, surprise. We're going to set some config. Uh, this config. So the the things. Th this is just my preference. This is what I've set. So I I want the centaur uh, the the bar that you see uh, the the kind of like highlight bar to show which one which uh, tab you're on. I want that to be to the top of the bar. Um, I also want. Actually, we can just do these in one one big block. I want to. Um, I want to see icons because we've got all the icons, so why not? And when we are not, when uh, a tab isn't active, I want to gray out the icons. Uh, what else? I want the, I quite like the tabs to be um, 24 pixels high, so not too big. And I want to be able to see as well, just at a glance, whether I've spelt something right or wrong. Um, I want to see whether the uh, buffer that is in that, or that is mod it fired. Sorry, I had to concentrate on spelling modified there. I, I want to see if a file has been modified uh, or a buffer has been modified and unsaved um, in, in the. Uh, within the tabs and you can set a um what that marker is and i am going to use one second i always just copy it over i want to use a dot so there are my basic options um and then some of the other things that I want, I want the, uh, I can't remember what this does actually. I'll have to check it out. And then we also want to enable set all tabs mode. So if I execute that, ah, why Centaur? What have I done wrong here? Done something wrong. I've done something wrong. And everyone will be able to see what I've done wrong and I won't be able to tell. Centaur, centaur tabs headline. 
centaur tabs. Well, it's saying that that's inaccurate, so let's just try. There we go. I just get rid of that, and it's worked. So as you can see, this is my styling. Now, if we open up, let's just open up app.py project. You can see we've got this these tabs. If we open up another, uh, if we open up the module from there, so we've got the tabs within our project from projectile. And if we just switch back to my tut, this is just going to be a tab on its own because it's a standalone thing. It's not part of a project, uh, which is handy. Um, and also, if we just go back here, you can see that the unopened file, the icon and the text is grayed out. Sorry, the uh, inactive tab is grayed out. So if I just switch to that one again, you can see it, it um, changes. If I just go back here, um, what are the options for these? Let's have a look. So tab styles. So so you can have bar, box. So you can have like rounded corners, slanted, waved, zigzag. Tab heights. Again, as I said, I quite I like them a bit smaller, like thirty-two. I think it's pretty big. Um, I've got the icons, got the grayed out. So yeah, select tabs. So you can have it to the left, over which I have it set to, or under. Um, you can customize the close button if you don't want an X. Uh, the modified marker, as you can see, I've set it to to a dot like this. I actually think that the dot is uh, smaller on mine. So if I just go here and go, uh, yeah, you can see the dot there it replaces the close icon. But if you do mouse over, you still get a little underline. Uh, yeah, it basically just replaces the closed buffer link. And if I save that, it gets rid of it. Um, you can change the font family if you want. Oh, you know, and this is quite useful. So I could say, um, I could specify, cause, because in my, my tut.org, because it's not part of a project, I could state that I, I don't want tab, the tabs, uh, Centaur tabs to um, be activated. On this file because or within files in here within uh within like my emacs d directory or whatever um but i just keep it on just so that it's consistent to be honest and i, I don't like it's it's kind of thing where i just want to like set and forget i don't want to keep you know opening and closing different different um different settings and different modes and whatever going between things so i just leave it as it is yeah, so there is also some keyboard shortcuts, which I think control C, da, 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 C, control X, C. Oh, there are, um, what are they? So there's uh, Centaur tabs. So where is it? I'm looking for tabs, tabs forward. Oh, that's it. Control C, then hold Control, and you can go right. Control C, go left. So just go through like that as well. Um, pretty useful. Centaur tabs. What else can we do? Uh, tabs mode. Select. Do, do, do. Toggle group. Uh, backwards do close. Yes, there's a few things. I mean, the forward and backwards are probably the. The most useful things really um yeah i think that'll do i i think you know that kind of covers it pretty well uh it's useful oh i find it useful because sometimes when i'm lazy and i don't want to use my finger like you know i don't want to be typing or you know if i'm on like in a meeting and i'm just like kind of sat back talking whatever and i want to look through some files i can just click on the tabs so if i I can cut there because I'm not on the project. But if I go on here, you know, you just click on the tab and I scroll through and just be lazy and just kind of sit back and oh, yeah, look at this. Uh, one handed, one handed movement. So there you go. That is uh, Centaur Tabs. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you found it useful. Um, I'm kind of getting to the point where I'm going through um, some of the kind of smaller. Um, smaller packages that I use, which don't take that much time. 
and you know they're not like big video worthy i'm probably just going to start doing some videos uh, around linux a bit more as well um just you know settings and config and and things like that because that's it's kind of what i'm into um and yeah that's it if you're on youtube like and subscribe if you want to you don't have to uh if you're on library um follow and tip if you want to you don't have to leave a comment below let me know what you think uh again if you have any advice there's been some really good comments recently uh people advising on uh packages to check out so i've got i've i've got a nice i've got an org file with a nice list of things to check out with kind of some notes about uh each of them as i go through them and if it's something that i i, I enjoy and i kind of pick up and start using more then i'll do videos either on them uh, individually or as a group uh so keep suggestions coming in and thanks a lot for watching i'll see you in the next one cheers bye